Victor Davis Hanson, The Soul of Battle, From Ancient Times to the Present Day, How Three Great Liberators Vanquished Tyranny. Prepare to embark on a journey through The Soul of Battle, From Ancient Times to the Present Day, How Three Great Liberators Vanquished Tyranny by Victor Davis Hanson. This captivating summary invites you to explore the history of three influential military leaders who defied tyranny and championed the cause of freedom. Discover the unifying principles that guided them, their tactics to inspire and discipline their forces, and the strategic maneuvers they used to bring about lasting change. By examining the accomplishments and operational methods of these transformative generals, this summary will inspire you to seek and emulate the common factors that facilitated their command and leadership triumphs. Money Beyond Wealth The book delves into the relationship between money and humanity, highlighting the negative effects of money on people's lives. The Amazonian Achur people serve as an example of a world without money and how money has become an end unto itself, sometimes to the exclusion of moral, ethical, and spiritual concerns. The book argues that money and soul should not be mutually exclusive and can coexist in a positive way, bringing about goodwill and positive change in the world. The author shares personal experiences of how learning about the Hunger Project made her change course, turning outward to embrace the needs of others through study, activism, and philanthropy. The book ultimately proposes that we think and talk about money as part of a true ecosystem, recognizing that the economy and ecology are fundamentally bound together. The Power of Money Twist's eye-opening experience in India highlights how money has a grip on everyone, regardless of their status. She learns that compassion should be given to all and the concept of enough should be examined. Her fundraising work transforms from persuading people to awaken them to the financial conduits for their highest goals. False Mindset of Scarcity the false mindset of scarcity is a concept that has crossed time and boundaries, affecting people's actions and beliefs. Although there is enough food to feed everyone, many still hold on to the idea of scarcity. This scarcity mentality has three myths, there's not enough, more is better, and, that's just the way it is. These myths justify self-interest, accumulation, and resignation. The scarcity principle becomes chronic, leading to a sense of inadequacy. In order to recognize these myths in our lives, we must observe their influence on our habits and beliefs and be reminded that they are false. Collaboration is key to creating a sense of equality and sufficiency for everyone. Embracing the scarcity mentality perpetuates false beliefs, while recognizing and rejecting it leads to a more fulfilling life. Sufficiency, the art of living with what you have. The book emphasizes that sufficiency is a mindset or belief that there is enough for everyone, and this belief can transform one's perspective on wealth and scarcity. The book challenges the scarcity mindset prevalent in today's society and highlights the importance of sufficiency. Sufficiency does not mean that you stop using money or living a comfortable life, instead, it's a belief that there is enough for everyone. The author shares examples of people living in drought-stricken Senegal who have pushed through crises by looking within themselves for solutions. Sufficiency turns the dread of scarcity into self-fulfilling hope and creativity and inspires a wholeness of purpose. The book highlights the principle of sufficiency wherein the act of letting go of trying to get more of what you don't need frees up immense energy to make a difference with what you have. Sufficiency is not just about acquiring things but also about understanding and caring for them. When you act based on sufficiency, you enhance your understanding and satisfaction in life. The book emphasizes that sufficiency is a mindset everyone can adopt and that the belief in sufficiency can transform one's perspective on wealth and scarcity, leading to a fulfilling life. Manifesting Sufficiency Through Giving Money should flow like water and be treated as a carrier of intentions. Retaining or stockpiling money shows a scarcity mindset while sufficiency allows for the free assignment and transaction of assets. One can improve the progress of money by purposely allocating funds for the greater good, which brings unique satisfaction. Philanthropic interactions with sufficiency in mind can lead to unexpected positive impacts, 
and the excitement of directing money to important causes can be shared by anyone. The book explains that money and water have similarities in how they function. Water gives life as it moves, just like money. However, water can also stagnate when it stays still, and a withholding of water can be harmful. Money conducts energy, both positive and negative. The author suggests that if one retains or stockpiles money, they have a scarcity mindset. Sufficiency, however, allows for the free assignment and transaction of assets through people and institutions. The author goes on to provide examples of how one can consciously improve the progress of money through families and whole systems by purposely allocating money for the greater good. This not only brings unique satisfaction but may also have unexpected positive impacts. The book also highlights the benefits of philanthropic interactions with sufficiency in mind, which can lead to an experience similar to directing water in a stream. Ultimately, treating money as a carrier of intentions and energy, individuals can share the joy and inspiration of intentional and purposeful movement of money for the greater good. The Power of Intention Your attention and resources have immense value. This is what the people of a Bangladeshi village realized when they came together to create a sustainable farming and training zone that transformed their community. By focusing on their own abilities and resources instead of relying on aid efforts, they were able to achieve an incredible feat the value of your investments, financial or otherwise, is directly proportional to the attention you give them. Money is a carrier of your intentions, and by lavishing regard and encouragement on your pursuits, you can amplify their worth and power. The Power of Partnership In a world where financial scarcity prevails, collaboration and exchange are key to prosperity. Tracy's personal journey testifies to the value of shared gifts that stand in for money, while philanthropy risks undervaluing partnership and collaboration. Ethical collaboration is essential for charities to fulfill their objectives, and nature itself argues for the truth of prosperity through collaboration and against dated cliches like the law of the jungle and survival of the fittest. With our creativity, insight, and other assets, sufficiency is the ground that nourishes our ability to give unhesitatingly. The Power of Changing Your Dreams According to the Achur people of Ecuador's rainforest, the world is as you dream it, and you can change your dreams to change your reality. This includes changing your relationship with money. By viewing money as a currency of love and commitment, rather than mindless acquisition, you can break away from the crowd and reclaim the positive power of money. The key is to start the conversation about money and pass on this mindset to younger generations. The Power of Collective Wealth The destruction of old institutions and practices can pave the way for a new era. With millions of activists working toward positive change, collective wealth can serve as a resource for the stewardship of our planet. By allocating their resources to worthy causes, visionaries can bring about meaningful transformation that benefits all beings. Victor Davis Hanson's intriguing account of three exceptional leaders is more than a historical narrative, it urges us to venture deep into the core of their success and unearth the vital principles and strategies that define their missions. As we reflect on the lessons of these trailblazers, we emerge with a renewed appreciation for moral courage, the power of innovative thought, and the importance of sustaining hope in the face of adversity. The Soul of Battle reminds us that within the pages of history lie invaluable lessons for today's fight against tyranny, as well as a profound understanding of the resolute spirit required to champion meaningful change. <laughs>